Uh, I've forgotten your name again. Daria? Daria. 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 So, you need to be well aware yeah. to interact in a society, there has to be certain do's and don'ts, certain code of conduct to follow. Yeah. Okay, you can get this from fallible, ignorant human beings yeah. upon trial and error, or you can get this from your creator, this higher being. Sure. You choose. So we choose the one who is the most knowledgeable of us, who one created us, to give us the conduct of life here, rather than getting from this fallible, ignorant human beings yeah. by doing that, you know, destroying societies. Look what you know Stalin and others did, you know, in in in, yeah. in, 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 in a communist Russia. How many millions of but people you were know killed? What? I am grateful to be born in a family where, so, my parents were born in Soviet Union, exactly when, at the time of Stalin, right, where religion was denied. My dad is Jewish, my mom is Christian, and they were able to marry at the time because there was no religion. If it was a normal time, they wouldn't be able to be married because then my mom would have to be converted to Judaism to be married to my dad. Okay. So I grew up in 80s and 90s without religion and I feel I have a lot more open-minded outlook in the world versus someone who would have been brought a Jew or a Christian or a Muslim in a way. I am questioning my beliefs and I'm trying to understand each of the religions to see where maybe I'm affiliated more towards. Sure. Right? So I'm not I haven't been indoctrinated from my childhood what to believe in. Okay. So when it comes to when it comes to the issues of religion then, because yeah. I mean I understand I'm, I'm, I'm just no, 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 no. I appreciate right? <laughs> I appreciate your upbringing helped you to have a certain view yeah. or, or an outlook of life which otherwise being in a religion may not have given you the same. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So we, we, we can have different experiences of different upbringing. Yeah. But the fact still remains out of all of these belief systems, yeah. whether you are already internalized your belief as a Jew or a Christian or a Muslim, yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. or you are exposing yourself on a liberal mindset, you still have to choose one which is the best for you. Of course. Yeah? Yeah. But it doesn't have to be a religion, like I said. No, I a way believe of life. in a higher a way of life. power. Remember, I believe in there's something above us that guides us, but I don't generalize it or, let's say, put it in a certain I'm putting it in this shelf let's yeah. say but why don't you see religion is not only the affairs between you and God but religion to be something that gives you a conduct of life the best conduct of life for the betterness of yourself so if you're seeking like I want to live the best life yeah consider religion is that framework or model that gives you that because I know the I know the baggage I appreciate Daria the baggage people have with the word religion is constraining yeah, and limiting by the rules, right? yeah, yeah but we all are constrained by rules even but here you want to by rules? we have to we are social beings we can for example now can you just walk naked in public here you'll be arrested London, i think in london no you can't you can't okay. it's a, it's a public disorder crime right okay. right likewise you just with this theme, likewise, you can't go as a teacher in your bikinis in a corporate organization yeah, or a school. Yeah, yeah. Sure. You have to follow a certain code of life, yeah. right? Yeah, I agree. In a society. I agree with that. So, I agree. so in principle, we have to restrict our own desires and feelings even to a certain extent. You may feel with certain extent. Even though sometimes you may feel depressed. So yeah, yeah, to a certain extent. Or... For example, there are people out there. They want to have every other woman they want. I, I love this woman. I want to yeah. sleep with her, right? right? But they can't do that because this woman is not willing to have a relationship with this guy, right? Yeah. So he thinks now, how do I rape her? They are rapists like this, raping rape, rape mentality. So you see how they want to fulfill and materialize their feelings and desires through things which now we and I would agree is by force and compulsion. But this is a crime. Is this a crime of you know, how we live in a society collectively. But don't you think when you live in a culture where, which, where your desire is suppressed over years, it basically bursts out after a certain amount of time, the person who's been deprived and, and sort of taught in a certain way... Shouldn't be deprived. He Should be point directed where like, Excuse my English. It, I'm going to do whatever I want. Uh, we have to oh. <laughs> blur this out. <laughs> but that's what happens, Beep. right? Now, no, what we're saying, what we're saying is this. If you take the example of Afghanistan, people say, like, yeah. how what happened? Now, at one point, they're admitting their mistakes, yeah. as, as far as I know. When you implement something, suddenly something like this, yeah. without giving people an alternative. Imagine, like, you know, you've got water on your hands, right? Yeah. I say, you can't drink at all. 
including water. What are you going to do? You are going to like become thirsty and so on and so forth. So Islam, instead of just simply saying you can't do this and that, it provides the alternative. It says, fine, you can't drink alcohol, fine. Why don't you drink apple juice, orange juice, banana juice, strawberry juice, whatever. All the other alternatives there. Oh, you can't have sexual relationship. Well, get married. Within marriage you can, but not while outside but the marriage. Just tick the box exercise. No, no. no. Why not? It's Islam gives you, as I said, the particular code of conduct, whatever it restricts, it gives you the alternative. It tells you these are the things that you cannot eat or consume. Yeah. Yeah. These are things you can. And the vast majority are permissible ones. So the halal that you know of yeah. are the vast majority. Haram are a minority of restrictions. Right. What about slaughtering animals? Like slaughtering animals for Eid, like lamb. Why do we kill animals? There are various reasons why we follow the Abrahamic tradition, right. commemorating that traditions where, you know, Ibrahim, Prophet Ibrahim Islam showed his absolute trust and reliance on God. What God commanded him, he just did it. Mm. Okay, this is his faith, yeah. how he was tested. But of course, God didn't simply just say, okay, fine, you know, I commanded you to sacrifice your son, let him be sacrificed. No, he substituted you. Yeah. So this is the traditions of the, the Eid al-Adha. But when it comes to when it comes to eating food, for example, God didn't just say, okay, you only eat vegetables. He gave us the biological makeup to consume meat. Our teeth, no, our digestive system, I don't the proteins. Agree with that. No, no, no. I don't agree with. Your teeth. They don't make to eat animals. No, no. Your teeth. Yeah. The enzymes in your body. They're all there to digest animal proteins. No, no. I, That's that the biology. I don't agree. And that I don't agree. Not just with Islam in general. I think. Why does a lion eat a zebra? Do you know that the Italian, um, what do you call them? The guys that live in the Roman Empire, the... Um, okay, help me there. Cyril, who were the Italian men that were vegetarians in the Roman Empire? Uh, I don't think they were Italian, but you think about the... Uh... Tell me. Come on. Jimmy. Come on. Where you have the Roman Empire. Tell me, tell me. Gladiators, here you go. Gladiators, right. So they've done a lot of researches mm -hmm. over the years where they've shown gladiators were the men of the time. Mm -hmm. They were the strongest, the fastest, the they were vegetarian. Were our they vegetarian bodies, in their biological makeup? Our bodies are not made to eat animals. And that I'm not the say con contesting against Islam per se, I'm contesting it against science. Generally. You're contesting against biology. The no, biological makeup no. is our human race. Do you have a biology background? Was not made to eat animals. No, no, it's not made to meat. When the meat comes into your stomach, mm -hmm. it becomes too rot. Can right? you eat cement? No. Why not? Well, you get you die from it. No, right? why do we die from it? It's cement. You get it's not poison. poison. You get poison. So and why can we not digest? Meat is the slow poison. No, no, no. If you eat it over the years, Daria, become, I just want to. You get a cancer. Just want to. Uh, that would happen. Just want to it's highlight a, a point. Slower reaction. The to reason it. why we can digest meat and we yeah. can't digest cement, there's a reason for it. Okay, tell me. Okay. What it is. Because of the biology, the makeup. Right. What we have in our digestive system, in mm. terms of the acids and other hormones and proteins that helps us to digest, yeah. okay, it can digest certain things. It can digest animal proteins. Mm. It cannot digest, for example, cement. So, in our biology, there is a makeup mm. already. So you can't just simply say, you know what, I'm going to force a lion to eat grass from now on. Yeah. The lion, within its biology, is already designed, made, to eat other animals. But maybe I would have liked religion more if we were taught to be kind to every humankind, not just... That's what Islam says. Well, animals Good. are... Do you know how friends. Islam treats an animals? How? Dogs are not... No. Dogs are, are bad no. animals. Of course, of course not. Of course not. Of course not. There are examples of dogs that are prohibited because these, these particular dogs are like Satan um, embodied themselves, or you know, some personification of Satan right, or something right, like that. Okay. But you can have good guard dogs and so on. Yeah, of course you can, right? The, you know, we have a companion named Abu Huraira. We have a companion yeah, named yeah, yeah. Abu Huraira. Do you know why he's called Abu Huraira? No. Because he had a cat. And he loved this cat. He, he cat would come all the time with him. He's yeah. like, you know, the father of the but cat. slaughtering goats, for me, is still haram. No, no, you can emotionally feel yeah. 
Animals have but feelings, and this is what I'm also do you eat, challenging. Do you eat? Um, I don't eat do you meat. Eat, no. do, you, do you eat vegetables? I do. Yes. Do you know trees also have feelings? No, not the same way. They don't have brain. Oh, they wait, don't wait, wait. have. You don't need they don't brain. Have nervous system. Now this the is where the, as animals do. Um, this is where the problem lies. I think there's a whole new domain of science called plant neurobiology. Okay. You were not aware of that, were you? Please go and study this plant neurobiology, in which they are demonstrating how plants can have feeling, suffer pain, and so on and so forth. Can they you communicate. slaughter goats yourself if you have to? If I have to, yeah, why not? I haven't really? tried it. I don't remember. But, really? But no. Because we are so accustomed to the supermarket no, where no, everything no. is slaughtered, and we just pick it up I on think, the shelf, and it's Daria, like, I think okay, I can eat it. But when you the have to do it yourself, yeah, yeah, I think I've done it before. Difficult. I think I've done it before. If you if you're really emotional because you've already like, for example, I will find it very difficult to slaughter, you know, very young lambs and something like this mm. because they're very cute, right? Mm. And in Islam, you know, we don't even for all the hiya, there has to be a certain age before they are sacrificed. Okay. You can't slaughter the very young ones under particular ages. Isn't that correct? I think uh, maybe under, under particular age, yeah. you can't slaughter animals for all the hiya. There has to be a particular age. Right. Yeah. So people are naturally very inclined to feeling of love and compassion and mercy with the very young ones. Mm. So that's why, you know what, at one point I was living in Syria and we had ducks and chickens that we raised. There's no way I can eat them. Mm. So when we left, after a year when we left that country, I had to give it to a young chap, say, okay, yeah. look after them. I'm not sure whether he ate them or not, but look after right, them. Right. Because you are so attached to it. Likewise, when people are attached to animals and so on, mm. of course you, you don't feel like you can eat them. But we consider something differently. For example, trees, you think like there's no, there's no feeling. But yes, when you pluck a leaf from a tree, do you know what happens? Chemical signals from one leaf goes to all the other leaves saying, danger, 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 look, someone's harming you. When a caterpillar starts eating the leaf, this is the chemical signal. We have seen it. Now they have with, with technology, you can actually see the chemical signals with the calcium ions and so on, how it goes all around. Amazing. They have feelings. Oh, the plants. People often also. Are you talking about the plants? Right? I'm talking about plants. Yeah. I'm talking about plants of feelings. Yeah. I'm talking about plants. They rear, they, they, they raise and rear the youngs. They look after them. I mean, this is a whole new science. I mean, books are written, articles. Yeah. So we should stop eating trees and plants like that. Where so do you stop? What are you teaching here? Okay, we were discussing about, you know, Islam. Right. And. You believe in, there, is a, there is a higher power, right? So I, I would rather say, if you really believe in a higher power, take it one step further. What are the attributes of this higher power, mm -hmm. and why is this higher power created you or brought you into existence? Right. Because your mom and dad didn't bring you existence; they were just the means. Mm -hmm. Do you, you know people often think our mom and dad gave us life? Right. If they had the ability, if I died as a child, it would give me life again and again and again. But the fact that they can't means they didn't have the power to give us life. Okay. The only means. Okay. So if God gave us life, for what reason? What is the purpose of our life? The, there's a purpose what of is your... What the purpose of your life? Exactly. You, can you share that with me? Yeah, what I can. Is it? Simply to worship God. In the Quran, our Creator tells us... And you he has care not, about doing nicer things in uh, life, to educate yourself, to spend time with the family. That has nothing to I do with know. this thing, it is different thing. Now, no, but this, I mean, how do you find yeah, time? Worship, worship, worship doesn't mean that you shouldn't do this thing. Exactly. Really? Yeah, so, 100%. The, the concept, concept of worship. One second, brother, sorry, one second. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Al-amal ibadah sahih. Like, working is, is, a, is, a, yeah. is worshiping as well, uh, in its context. When I work, when I'm working, I'm worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I smile at my brother, that's worship. How is it's, that so? It's a lifestyle. As I said, if I if I take something from a thorn from the road, that's worship. Right. So worship simply doesn't mean going to a mosque mm. or a temple or a gurudwara or a church, whatever. Worship means you do things whatever your God, your Creator is pleased with. Okay. You know. So I follow the wills of, of, of my Creator, and by doing that, I've submitted to Him and surrendered and to Him, and that's worship. What do you think of people like me, who is non-believer? As an intelligent human being, your next step is what I can direct you to. Your next step... But what having... do you think of me being non-believer? And me living my life the way I am, without associating my life to, like I said, certain religion yeah. or so, practice? As I, as I see, you... as I see yes. from what I can understand with my limited experience about yeah. what you think, yeah. what you are, you are someone who believes in a higher power. Right. 
right. That means there are essential next steps to take. As Muslim, in every single prayer, 17 times a day at least, we say, establish us, guide us on the straight path. Okay. Even though we have that path, but we are constantly praying to remain on that path. The path of those that God has pleased with, the prophets and the messengers and the righteous ones, and not the path of those who has earned God's anger, the one who went totally astray, or the, you know, because yeah. of, yeah. So, for you, the way I see it is, you are living a path already. The question is, the path that you should take, should take, is the best path. And Islam tells you the best path is offered by God and his messenger through the Quran but look, and a, the prophetic teaching. I have a very hectic job where I have to work, I have to perform nine hours of the day, where I have to think about my team, all my KPIs I need to hit. I have zero time to think about God. How do you feed that sure. in? Sure. I have where perhaps... You have so much to do every day that you basically to, don't know where to yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, Allah does not forbid you from those who do not fight you because of your religion, because of religion. Right. And do not expel you from your uh, from your home. From being righteous toward them right. and acting justly toward them. Actually, the translation, if I want to translate them my own way, yeah. uh, 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 which is the, the best manners of acting with the other person. Even like Allah can say with, with, with the uh, highest manners with others, can uh, uh, Allah begin us to, to be number one with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger, then parents, then disbelievers. So these are the top people. Like the pe people on the top who should be treated the best with the best manners. Okay. So how do you treat your your team then? Okay. Say you have so a team may I you, how do you treat may them? I come back to your example? I work even though it's like seven and a half hours a day, thirty-five hours a week, or something like this. You know, most of the time I'm late at work in a hospital, yeah. right? So I have team to manage. I have to do all these things, doing day tickets and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of hard work. Okay. Managing the team and working for the team, you know, individually, collectively. But still, we can make time. Just like you make time for your lunch, your lunch right. break, your tea break, you make time to have discussion with your friend, you make time, you can make time for God, yeah. you can make time for your own self. Okay. Your own self. Because worship is not that God says 24 hour day on a temple doing this. No. Some people do that. They yeah. choose to do but that. But in right? Islam, but in Islam, Whatever you do that is in accordance with God's will, God says so and in accordance with it, that becomes worship. The examples I've given you about like, brother, how are you? Smiling at my brother is worship. Cool. Can you imagine what worship encompasses? So if I am now in my team speaking to them in honesty and truthfulness, that's my worship in action. I'm being truthful. If I am being reliable, don't break my promises. That's worship in actions. Yeah. So even in my dealings at workplace, when I do that, that's part of my worship in action. Okay. Yeah? So it is easy. So for yourself, as I said, the next direction, next step, recommendation, not I'm asking you or telling you, this is because you believe in a higher power already, is to take the next step and say, okay, fine, why this creator created me? And I mentioned to you for worship, to, to acknowledge him as your creator and to surrender your will because if there is a purpose in this life, which there is, your coat has a purpose, your shoes have a purpose, your, 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 your glasses have a purpose, you have a purpose too. And that purpose is not simply to be happy and to make others happy. it's also happy. not being worshipping to God all the time. There no, are no, no, other no, 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 it's not about all the time. Do. The other things you do. Yeah. We don't neglect this life yeah. and only consider the hereafter, the real life, because this life we can live but within boundaries yeah. and you accept that there has to be boundaries mm. you can't just do whatever you do in your team can you just act like a dictator no you can't because <laughs> sometimes i can <laughs> yeah, yeah. but then they won't <laughs> like you yes i am so grateful to allah for having guided me to islam sadly i am the only muslim in my family it hurts me that my parents haven't accepted islam yet and i ask allah to guide them but it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. 
The Prophet وسلم, said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.